chickens here on our farm live a life similar to their natural ancestors. We pretty much leave them to their own devices to roost and forage wherever they want. The lifespan of a chicken can be up to 20 years, but unfortunately not all are this lucky. Commercial egg-laying hens live in a very unnatural environment. After only one year, egg productivity begins to fall and they are slaughtered. But despite their ragged appearance, every year over 60,000 of us get all clucky over them and give them a second chance. However, rehoming a chicken in your garden is not always straightforward. One show viewer, Josie Routley, has adopted hens before and has recently taken in more of them to add to her flock. So what made you think of getting these chickens, oh, Josie? We, we moved into the house four years ago and we had this big garden space and the kids love them. Um, yeah, they're just lovely creatures to have around. Are you having any problems? Yeah, the um, new girls, they've been in a large flock of about a thousand chickens before. Right. And from the looks of them, it looks like there's been some serious feather pecking going on. With are they still doing that now? And they, yeah, they are, so it's a bit of a worry that that might cause a nightmare problem, really. Domesticated over 5,000 years ago, all breeds of chickens descend from the red jungle fowl of Asia. Here, they inhabit the complex world of the forest floor. And that's what we need to recreate in order to reawaken the natural instincts of Josie's chickens. To help me, I have Christine Nicholl from the University of Bristol. She studies chickens, and her area of work looks at how the chicken and egg industries can improve their welfare. Well, you've got two very different groups here, haven't you? Some look uh, huge and big and sleek, and these, I guess, are the newer arrivals. Yeah, yeah the new ones. Oh, <laughs> as you can see, they do form this pecking order. One chicken is definitely, if you like, at the top of the pecking order, mm -hmm. um, and it's often a very sort of straight-line relationship. One chicken is boss of the next one, and the next one is boss of the one after. Right. But sometimes chickens get a bit confused, and these ones will be, because they've only just met. So um, the bold areas, obviously, they're looking a bit... Yes, here we've got something that we need to solve as a problem, I think. And although it looks like that might be part of this aggression that we're talking about, that's a mistake to think that. It's not aggressive pecking at all. Right. It's related to their natural feeding and foraging behaviour. Chickens are very, very curious animals. In the jungle, where they came from, they would spend uh, most of the day pecking around and looking for food, and they still got that instinct. In a commercial system, it's not really giving them that level of excitement of different things to peck at. So they get bored? They get, they not so much get bored, but they look for the most interesting thing to peck at. Right. And that happens to be the feathers of the hen next to them. So one possible solution to Josie's problem is to provide more interesting objects in the chicken's foraging environment. So I've got a real mixture of things in here. Time for Christine's box of tricks. First thing I'm going to suggest is that we perhaps hide some treats in here for them. Right. And this would work well as a short-term distraction. Oh, yeah. They love pulling things apart, so um, a bale of hay continues to change, so it keeps them interested for much longer. Hey, girls, have a yes. go with that. In the wild, they spend their time wandering through the undergrowth, lifting leaves, having a look to see what's underneath, doing this ground scratching with their feet, pecking, and make sure that whatever litter substrate you use, that you keep it dry. If it gets wet and it gets soggy, it becomes of no interest to them whatsoever. So they're literally just finding they're their literally feet. They're literally finding their feet. So I think that's a good way of putting it. So in no time at all, the pecking order will be sorted, their feathers regrown, and all the new girls will have rediscovered their inner chicken. <laughs>